So today, I'm going to tell you how I made my first website using the static site generator Hugo. This video is not a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a website using Hugo. There are plenty of resources online for that and I'll even link some of them in the description below. What this video will do is give you an overview as to why I needed a website, how I built mine, and maybe even inspire you to do something of your own. I'm a postgraduate computer science student graduating later this year, and I needed a portfolio for showcasing potential employers the projects that I've been working on. I also wanted to post some articles every now and then talking about stuff that I'm interested in, kind of like a blog. You can check out my website at kavadvajan.com. My requirements were that I did not need a dynamic website because the content is not constantly being updated. Two, I needed the website to be minimalistic and fast. Three, it had to look good. I did not want it to look boring and bland. Four, I did not want to spend too much money on servers and stuff. So running the website should be really cheap. And five, I did not want to write a lot of code for the website. All of these requirements pointed towards only one thing, using a static site generator. So the next question was, what static site generator should I be looking into? But before that, for those of you who do not know what a static site generator is, it is an application that lets you build static websites. A static website is something that's built once and is delivered as is. In contrary to a dynamic website, where the content for a dynamic website needs to be fetched from a database and the whole page needs to be generated on the fly, on demand. Though complex sites like Twitter need this kind of dynamic websites, simple portfolio websites and blogs do not need it. The content in blogs and portfolio websites change only when the author makes changes to it and that would not be as frequent as millions of people tweeting every minute. Hence, it makes sense to pre-compile the final version of the website and just deliver the compiled version whenever a request is made for it. This makes static websites extremely fast and secure while reducing the complexity of the website itself. This was exactly what I needed to build my simple website. But now the question of what static site generator do I use came up and after browsing through the various available options, I settled with Hugo. Mainly because of how easy it was to set it up and get a website running. And also because I saw a theme that I liked and wanted to use. So if you're looking for a static site generator, I would recommend you to also spend some time browsing through the features and the themes offered by each service to find out which one suits you the best. So the exact steps I followed to make my website were I first installed Hugo using Homebrew and then quickly tested the installation with a test site. Then I downloaded the theme I was interested in. It was this one called Hello Friend NG. I then edited the theme to my heart's content. And then I wanted to make some more minor changes to the theme itself to stand out a bit from the others using the same theme. So I edited the theme by installing the node dependencies and then messed around with them directly. This gave me more manual control over how the theme itself worked. Next. I added all the contents to the about, posts, and project pages. All the content was written in Markdown like this. Markdown is very easy to pick up and get a hang of, so don't worry about that. Once I was happy with the contents of the website, I was ready to publish it and go public. The first thing I needed was a place to host the website itself. Being a student, I needed something dirt cheap, and what's cheaper than being free? So I chose GitHub pages. Every GitHub user gets to host one page and it's a solid hosting platform that is easy to set up and use. Also, did I mention that it's free? However, I quickly realized that this repository in which I was doing regular version control for my website cannot be used to publish the website too. I needed to build the site using Hugo before hosting it and maybe it's possible by setting up actions or something like that. But for now, I made two different repositories for my website. One to do regular version control and the other to host the website itself. If you know of a more elegant way, please let me know in the comment section below. As soon as Hugo is done building my website, I send the output, that is the compiled website, to the hosting repository and then push it to GitHub. Now GitHub uses the compiled files to actually host my website online. It is made available at the URL kavitvajan.github.io. Next, I needed a proper domain for this website. I used Namecheap as it was the least expensive out of the ones I considered and also provided WhoisGuard, which is a service that will hide your personal details from a Whois lookup. I leave a link to Namecheap in the description below. Buying a domain name from them was easy and setting it up to work with GitHub pages was pretty straightforward. I spent a total of 5 euros and 61 cents on a domain name and that was the total cost I incurred while trying to host this entire website. Now that I got everything to work, I wanted to streamline the process. 
That is, every time I made a change to the website, I wanted to deploy it smoothly without having to manually type all of the commands to deploy the website. So I used a tiny Z shell script to automate the entire process. Now I'm not an expert at scripting and if there's something I can do to make this better, please let me know in the comment section below. So in this script, I get the input for the commit message, then I use the Hugo command to build the website and the minus D flag to determine a destination for the output, which is another directory just outside this one. The destination directory has the github.io extension because it is the repository that holds my compiled website. Then I move to this directory and push the changes to the github repository. Finally, I then move back to the repository that contains my code and push that to its repository too for good measure. I'll have this script in a github gist linked in the description below. This might not be the most elegant solution, but it works for me. Now let me show you a live demonstration of how this script works. So as you can see, this is the code for the homepage. And if I went here and changed this to covet, saved it, and did dot slash deploy dot sh, and said YouTube demo. So you can see that it's building the project and then it's pushing it to the, the github.io repository. And then it says it successfully deployed the website and then it pushes the latest changes to my personal repository where I maintain the website's code. And then it says successfully push changes to the repository as well. So my script is finished running. To check it, it says uh, I'm covered version here. So if I were to refresh it, voila. So that's how I built my first website. In total, I spent less than six euros and about a day to start from scratch and build a fully functioning website. So if you're in a similar position trying to build your first website, I'd suggest you to take a look at static site generators like Hugo. They might be good enough for your use case. I hope this video is useful and inspired you to try stuff out on your own. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.